In this problem, we're trying to find the location where the electric field is zero. So we have to look at the electric field vectors on the left of these two charges, between the two charges, and to the right of the two charges. So this charge on the left is a positive charge, which means the electric field on this left of it points away, always away from the positive charge. So the electric field away, and over here we're getting quite far away and make the vector a little bit smaller. So that, those are the electric field vectors due to that plus 6 nanocoulomb charge. I'm just going to switch color. The negative, oops, the negative charge, which will be red, has the electric field vectors pointing towards it everywhere. So towards the negative, in between, towards the negative, and over here, much, much smaller because I'm so far away, towards the negative. So we can see now that there's no hope of them cancelling to the left because the black electric field vector is always going to be bigger than the red. There's no hope of them cancelling between the two charges because they both point in the same direction. So our only possibility is here to the right of the smaller charge. So I'm going to call this distance we're trying to find x. And I'm going to equate the magnitudes of these two electric field vectors to try to find this distance x. Okay, so to the right, due to the positive charge, this magnitude of the electric field would be k times the charge, 6 nanocoulombs, over the distance from that charge, which would be x plus 2 squared. Because the electric field due to a point charge, E, is equal to kq over r squared. Now the red vector, this one, the magnitude of it would be k times positive 1.5, because it's only magnitudes here, and the distance from the red one is x squared. So to find x, we simply equate these two magnitudes. So I have the k times 6 over x plus 2 squared must equal k times 1.5 over x squared. Now you don't have to solve that using the quad quadratic equation. The k's cancel. I'm going to bring the 1.5 over to the left. I'm going to take the x plus 2 squared over x squared. I'm just going to square root both sides. So that on the right, I simply have x plus 2 over x. And on the left, I have the square root of 4, which is just 2. And then that equals x plus 2 over x. So solving that, I simply have 2x is x plus 2, or x is equal to 2 meters. So the position where the electric field is 0 is 2 meters from to the right of the smaller charge.